that time within a minute and a half. Next performer, ladies and gentlemen, I has a fucking awesome theory. That's the biggest credit. Exactly. Let's welcome Thunder Allen. <laughs> Round of applause for Rick Jenkins and my beard, ladies and gentlemen. Round of applause. I, uh, my name is Connor. Uh, like Rick said, it's not uh, the most common first name you're ever going to encounter. People are always screwing it up when they first meet me. I went into Starbucks the other day, ordered a drink, gave the barista my name. A few minutes later, she called out, I have a tall mocha for corn. <laughs> tall mocha for corn. I was like, yeah, you're right, my name is corn. <laughs> My dad was a vegetable farmer. <laughs> he was passionate about corn. Give me the mocha, my name's not corn. I'm just gonna make coffee at home. <laughs> a little bit of a, of a pizza addict. You guys are all in college, you understand. Uh, yeah, yeah, pizza addicts, nice. Uh, you guys probably already know this. Uh, I think this is pretty amazing. You can now have a pizza delivered as late as 4.30 in the morning. This girl knows what I'm talking about. <laughs> it might seem convenient, but I'm here to tell you that it's not based on the kind of people they employ to bring you pizzas at 4.30 in the morning. You order a pizza at 8 o'clock at night, that's normal. You're going to get a normal delivery driver. You're going to get a stone college student in a Dodge hatchback. <laughs> You might not get there on time, but he's going to deliver you a piping hot pie with a smile on his face. <laughs> you order a pizza at 4.30 in the morning, brace yourself for a crack-addicted carnival worker to come flying through your window. <laughs> Unannounced. <laughs> with something in a pizza box, half the time it's not even going to be pizza. <laughs> Last time I got a bag of weed and an Italian sandwich. <laughs> It's like, thanks? I don't know. Thank you? <laughs> and the later you order a pizza, the more likely it is the driver's going to scare the shit out of you and not come through the front door, but instead come through the side window, <laughs> the basement steps, or just right through the back door. <laughs> At that point, it's like, look, man, it's 3.30 in the morning. You look like a fucking troll. Just leave the pizza and get out of here. <laughs> You're scaring my elderly mother. <laughs> Live with my mom, guys. That's what I'm trying to tell you. I, uh, I decided I don't like texting all that much. Uh, I feel like it just leads to miscommunications. I was exchanging some sexy text messages with a lady recently, and I tried to text her, I want you to spend the night at my place. <laughs> but it auto-corrected to, I've only ever been to first base. <laughs> I was in a hole on that one. I tried to salvage the situation. I was like, hey, look, I don't really like texting all that much. Can we just meet up face to face? And that auto-corrected to, I am the real Zodiac killer. So, <laughs> I don't know, that was like six months ago. I haven't, I haven't heard from her. I don't know what's going to happen with that. Uh, <laughs> pro probably nothing. I, uh, I live in the Alston uh, area. If you guys are ever in Alston, I'm pretty easy to find. I'm the only person there over the age of 30 not smoking weed out of a gravity bong in front of the Dunkin' Donuts on Alston <laughs> Avenue on Friday. <laughs> Literally the only person in that area you could describe that way. There's a lot of, uh, a lot of students living in my neighborhood. It's fun living with a lot of students because they leave a lot of free piles all around town. You guys know what I'm talking about. It's piles of free stuff with a handwritten note next to it that says free. <laughs> you ever dig through a pile of free stuff and get insulted at the kind of shit you find in there? I was digging through a pile of free stuff and all of a sudden the other day and someone had left out a bag of frozen spinach. <laughs> So let me get this straight. In your haste to move out of your bachelor pad, you figured, fuck it, I'll leave a bag of frozen spinach out in case somebody with an iron deficiency desperately needs this. <laughs> Down the street in another free pile, somebody left out a roll of toilet paper, just a single roll of toilet paper hanging out in the concrete. I was like, dude, we're not in that serious of a situation. 
Everybody has free access to toilet paper. That's what the Cambridge Library is for, okay? <laughs> thanks, but no thanks. I, uh, I lost you guys on that free pile one. That's all right, that's all right. Because you know what? I went home and I cooked that frozen spinach, and I don't care. <laughs> I cooked it. I felt good about myself. I, uh, I do want to have kids someday. Uh, one of the things I'm going to encourage my kids to do the most while they're young is to kick a lot of ass. Okay? <laughs> I'm going to encourage my kids to beat a lot of ass while they can, because after the age of 11, you can't really fight anymore without getting into serious trouble. But there's a magical age between 1 and 11 where you could just drop kick a fool. <laughs> and the worst that happens is you have to take a time out in the corner. Right? I'm going to tell my kids straight up, like, look, you listen to your father. And this is my kid. He's like sort of going through puberty. <laughs> Punch someone. Nuts as an adult, you go to prison. <laughs> you punch someone in the nuts as a kid, you're a stealth ninja. <laughs> Be a stealth ninja. All right, thank you, folks. Turn it back over to Rick. Thank you very much.